video tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to compile a text from the master version using Xcode. Um, before we do that, make sure you have got Xcode installed and also download the appropriate command line tools for Xcode for, a specific, for the specific version of Xcode. Um, the actual Xcode can be downloaded from the App Store. I just browse the App Store and search for Xcode. As you can see, I've got it installed. And the um, command line tools are downloaded from the Apple developers website. Um, from Apple developer. Um, you don't have to be a registered developer. However, however, you will need um, your Apple ID to register at the portal. So once you in the portal, go to command line tools. And uh, type command line. And since I've got Xcode 15, I will download this DMG package and install it. Um, we also need two packages from GitHub. Uh, one of them is called MyKernel SDK. We can download it from Accidentera website. Let's put it on desktop. Um, and the second package is the Lilo package itself, Lilo master version. Code and downloads it and drop it on desktop. Let's rename that. So First of all, we need to prepare the Mac kernel SDK so it coincides with our Xcode version. And since we got Xcode version 15, let's open the, the Xcode um, project within the Mac kernel SDK. It's that that file, Xcode project, as you can see there. Let's press and open. like that, build settings, change it to Xcode 15, uh, architectures, standard architectures, and update recommended settings. Close the file. Now Go to Lilo and copy the marker no SDK to Lilo folder. And let's run Lilo Xcode project. There are certain things within this project we have to change in order to successfully compile little text. So let's do the same as a Xcode 15. Um, build settings, standard architectures. Go to Lilo, build settings, standard architectures, um, info, and macOS deployment target. Should be set to recommended. And let's build the, the text. As you can see, it says build succeeded. Now close the file. Um, the actual file itself 
will be uh, saved in your um, Mac OS drive. So you have to go to Mac OS partition, um, users folder. Um, and then if you if you don't see this library file, this is the hidden file. Basically, if you don't see that file, you have to press Command Shift and period. Basically, that's what you, you will have. Um, but just press Command Shift period, and you will see all the hidden files. So now go to Library, go to Developer, Xcode derived data and as you can see here is our little build products debug and this is the deep little debug file which that's what we want because we'll use we will use little debug file in order to compile all the other um, dependencies all the other texts that depend on little so just put it there on the desktop so from now on, we will only need these two files. We can get rid of those. So basically, there are two types of texts. Um, there are little plugins and the texts that do not depend on little. So um, in order to compile little plugins, we will have to use both Macernal SDK and little debug file. Debug, debug text and for the text that are not little plugins we will only use mark kernel sdk i will show both examples how to compile the text so as an example for the little plugin basically the little plugins i'll show you what are the little plugins if you just google little plugins um, you will see how many texts are dependent on the little and and little debug file will be used deb debug text will be used um, to compile all these texts as you can see there so for the for the little text we will use um, just recently released text I mentioned in the previous video, it's called NUTREX. Uh, this text allows to run unsupported AMD RDNA 2 GPUs like 6700 XT on the latest macOS versions. So go to text to download the master version. It's there, NUTREX. Um, as you can see, there is no kex to download. The only thing we can download is NuteRx and compile the kex ourselves. So let's do that. Just drop it on desktop. And if you go to developer website, we will see that this kex is actual little plugin. That means we will have to use both label text and Macernal SDK in order to compile this file, this text. So let's go there, grab both files, copy, paste. Put it there, close the file. Now open up the terminal. CD to the file. So we go to that file cell and just type Xcode build and let the Xcode build the file for us. As you can see, it says build succeeded. So if you go to the folder, there is a new folder called build, release. And this is our text we just compiled.
There we go. This is the kex. We can delete those. We don't need them anymore. Um, so the other type of kex is, for example, um, real tech. Uh, RTL one 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 kex. I think. No, it's eight one one one. So this is the kex. So in order to compile this kex. Um, let's download the master version. We do literally the same, just instead of copying both Lilo and Markernel SDK, we just copy Markernel SDK. As you can see, it's there. So now Open up the terminal again, go to that folder, type Xcode build, wait until the build is succeeded, as you can see there. Now go there, as you can see there is a new folder called build, release, realtechx. Hopefully this video made it clear how to compile a kex from the master version. And if you like the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you.